Well, this is Russell Scott from scottcarvings.com. Today, I'm at the beach. McCarthy Beach and Beatrice Beach, Beatrice Campground. Actually, it's a little beach that I mentioned before that's next to McCarthy Beach. We decided to come out here. Nice little breeze. It's way warm out here. That's why you see my my beautiful knees here. And this is, this is going to be more of a... Uh, a fun video, uh, uh, just watching video than it would be. It, well, I think hopefully you get something from it. Um, and what I'm going to do is take some of the pieces Lynn wants me to finish off, and we'll do that. Uh, well, of course, you get the pattern. So the only issue is that you, uh, I, I won't start from scratch. So it's like you, if I give you the pattern, you got to at least get to this part here but like i said if you want to use this as an educational uh and doing the details i think is what's very important so i got two of them i'm going to do this one this first because this is the easy one because he's just a santa's holding his coat with the with the hood and let's get started i thought it was all set up i forgot to get my my uh reading skepticals out and i can't find them and they should be here oh they're there i thought i left them with my head back at the campsite but uh that's really interesting is i got uh, i got reading glasses that i go to the prescription of my the, the reading part of the of my bifogies because i just kind of hate my hate to, my eyes looking down all the time when i'm reading a book or when i'm when i'm carving so and now everything else is is out of focus except for my hand and i put my glove on this is just a rubber glove it is a cut glove the thing about this glove is that holy smokes when you sweat holy smoly it it does uh it does stink when you take it off that's the bad one Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm probably not even going to talk much. I'm just going to carve and hopefully get something out of this. And I want to make sure everything is straightened out, which I'm sure some way or another it will we'll lose. But, I mean, uh, the thing I always like to start on something like this is that get that shoulder in. See the shoulders. A lot of people do this, this hunch thing. And it's going to, I'm going to bring the shoulder in, it's going to cut into the coat and it may cut even, cut into the beards. But the major important thing is when you have arms that are sticking out like this, you want the elbow out, sticking out so that the shoulder is in. And it's best if you were to start with a, you know, flat piece like this and so you can get that elbow out. And especially if he's going to be doing something more on the side. Uh, you'd like to start with a, or either that you're going to take a square piece and turn it into a flat piece. Uh, probably you can a little extra robe as you're squeezing this and as you're squeezing this in, you're making it smaller. Therefore, this will come out. And I am using my stew by knife. I want to let you know right now I have a um, collection that you can get. You can look down uh, on the details. We'll have my stew by collection from the uh, uh, Wood Carving Warehouse by Chris Willock. I feature my knife, or their knife, and a couple of their numbered, where is it, number 11s. Um, and I think and number, there's some number nines in there. So I got some of the stew buys handy and a V tool. Uh, I have not gotten a rest from Chris yet, but uh, check him out and you will see my collection of knives. Now, the thing is, I noticed, you noticed, I just was, was carving. Darn it. I was just carving and just before I left, I had a little, a little nick in there, or nicks. 
let me just do this quick here. Just a little, take those little nicks off. Let's hope I can do that here. Just a quickie. I do subscribe to the Ev Evan Wood style of sharpening knives. If you ever get out there, Ev 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 Evan Wood, and it's more it's more of aggressive up and down. But I'm just doing this as a quick. Now don't mind me. You gotta. Or mind, mind the noise or the conversation behind me. There's a group of four adults come in and they, with their bicycle, I guess they did a lot of traveling to get here, so I guess they need to rest. Oh, I grabbed the wrong, sorry. I thought he felt kind of different. Sorry. So, so generally it is quiet, but they're just having their little rest and conversation let's see this one got a little little of those little black boo-boos there once in a while i have to stop and it looks like if like i'm stretching up to make sure i'm still on, oh that comes right off to make sure that i'm still on in the camera okay so that's a good start now it's gonna it's gonna cut into here and then it's gonna cut into the and, and, and if you got some old carvings, this would be a good time. Uh, you come to a point where you're, you're, you're done with it or you don't like it and it's not going anywhere. This is time to practice on some of these things, these little principal things that I'm going to keep it all. I just wanted to clean things up a little more. Maybe nose a little too high. You put something that says that that's going to be the nose there, so wouldn't go any, she wouldn't go any deeper. And this is going to be a, since this is going to be a hooded figure, we'll come to about here and about here. Oh, I can see good things on this. Now, the other thing I want to do is, is where that shoulder is, I want to bring it forward a little bit. And then she does left enough for to adjust the arms a bit. Same here. Where's the where's the shoulder? Because I like to have the beard come out. That's going to stop here, of course. And then, if you want, you could have also what we could do is bury the shoulder with the beard and. I'm not sure. I'm just deciding. I have the shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. I think it's best. I'm going to shoulder, shoulder. But sometimes you can uh, um, bury the shoulder with the beard. So it's kind of a little, I don't know if it's a little cheat or make things a little easier. I might have to come in a little bit here and again. So I can make the, the major, uh, the top arm a little longer. Now I want to still use, let me finish this here. I'm still going to use probably all of that hand coming up. So it's going to come, I want to use that for the hand. And there's all kinds of things we can do in there. Um, I'll do some extras. So what's going to happen is now I don't want to. I, I want to use this line here that I use for the shoulder, and then kind of come up a little bit like this. So I'm going to flatten it a little bit. You know, I, I got to tell you, I got to admit it that uh, you know, I don't want to criticize anybody's art. Uh, with the younger. I say younger, the more beginners, uh, if you will, is that sometimes I would just like to take the carving out of our hand and say, well, here, here's what's going on. Here's what you need. I mean, but I don't want to do that. I mean, you're rude. But sometimes the, the arms are too straight up and down and too blocky and, and not as round. 
but uh, I would like to do that, but that would make me the bad boy. Excuse me. I think we're going to make room for that. I don't know about that cut. I might be, might be stuck with that. I'm not sure. So like I said, I want to take this hunk of this off. Again, check it out. Um, the address should should be below. That's the knives, or most of the knives I use. I pick up some other knife once in a while, but that's the main knife. Knives and and and, uh, and chisels, pardon me. Boy, they sure are boisterous. They're having a good time. That's no, that's what counts. They're here to have a good time. And they are. Now, interesting how, unless I got, st yeah, I did get started. Why don't I use what I got here? And it kind of looks a little like, because I want to tilt the head, or should I tilt it this way? I don't know, the way it kind of feels, it feels like it should go this way. Let's turn the head a little bit. Let's make a little extra on it. Now, before I commit, you know, I think what I want to do is this. Put a little more bow into it there. A little. There you go. That's where we can have the two I was mentioning, the shoulder. Bury some of the shoulder. And I'm not sure about the beard. The beard is... I've always said the beard is imperfect. You can make it as big, long, short, whatever you want. Okay, and then while I've got the chisel up, this is a big chisel. This is not, like I said, I don't, I got a, a chisel like this coming from Chris from the Stubais. But it's, it's just like this. So let's just pretend this is my Stubai. Oh, I didn't do this side. I'll get back to it. So let's do this. I don't want to say the word commit, but sort of commit. And I, I mean, the thing I see right away is to put it there as far as the profile is, yeah, there's still a lot of head coming out. A lot of, you can have it so that the the hood comes right up to the nose and in but that means you got to do a lot of carving in on the side you got to pull a lot of that out but it's it's amazing if you look at some pictures of people with hoods like this how much of that head is sticking out you know, like the wizards how much of that head is sticking out all right okay like i said i forgot where's my knife Okay. <laughs> He's still there. You're talking away. Um, I kind of look like sometimes I carve like a um, what do you call it like a um, rock tumbler. I just tumble in, and it's like while I'm doing this, I might as well stay and do something else. And I'm seeing what I've kind of goofed up here when the head has been returned. We're just going to have to work with it. There. Have to clean some of this off here. Oh, goodness, am I still in? Still in, and you don't see. I'm off the screen, but probably you can see is my beautiful knees there. Keep a little bit of the 
shore lapping. We do have a little bit of a breeze going on here. Right now, uh, we're in McCarthy Beach and up north about a good four hours drive from St. Paul. And down there in St. Paul, it is upper 90s. Here it's just upper 80s. So it's close to tolerable. I don't know if that's the best way to put it. I'm going to clean this up a little bit here, so. Now, since I had to bring the shoulders in, then some of this has got to go. Now, one of the things that I'm still practicing on myself, making clean cuts, you can see how it's straight, like, flat like this, and flat like that, and it comes out clean. I discovered that in a, a, a class with um, Ryan Olson, and I said, how the heck do you get it clean enough? Because I used to just do the points. See, my old videos, I'll be do using the point a lot, and I talk about bringing the, the butt in up and get that blade in there. But if you can get it flat like this, then flat like this, look how clean that is. Now it looks like the head is starting to shrink a little bit. That's fine. We're going to go in number one. And I want to take off a good chunk of this. It's bothering me. Oop, they popped on their bikes and they're on their way. There we go. That's starting to look a little better. If I go like this, then I can be more open with the beard. Okay, let's do the same thing here. Flat. Flat. Now there are points where it's round and you can't go flat. Did I do that here when I clean this? Look how clean that is. I love that. But they got a little round here. When it's round, then I might have to use the tip. Okay, same here. I'm just gonna take some of this off. Just flat, flat. Just enough to cut. And if you have to use the tip, use as much of that, the flatness of the tip as you can. Sometimes you can't. I can't here. All right. Now the thing I want to do is I want to commit to the beard because I want to continue the flattening process of this. Is if we have, okay, here's where the, just a little turn, just to give it a little personality. You know, just a little bit of hair here, that's hair. And then, I meant hair, usually when you do that, that means cut that out, it's the opposite. So how does that look? Let's do a little bit of zoom in thus far here. How does that look? Because there's the shoulders. The shoulders, this one is a little higher, but. And I am pretty good. You can hear the robin in the background. Yeah, that's a robin for sure. I'm gonna cut here. Somewhat uh, commit the head. Because then I want to see how that works with the with the beard. Probably give them a long, much longer beard. Now I see Robin. Did you, did you see? Well, obviously it's a Robin, but there's so many birds in the wild that sound like a Robin. Oh. Used too much of that tip there. That head turn. 
Okay, there is, uh, oh goodness, what the heck is that they got out there? Like a boat, it's one of those, <laughs> have you ever seen them? It's a speedboat and of course dragging something, you know, the kids in the back. This looks like some kind of a, a balloon seat, like a, a sofa, but it's ballooned out. You know, so, it's, so it's a floaty. And they're just having a good time out there. Let's just commit to this beard here. Now, I like ground. You can do it any, any way you like. Lynn usually likes to make it a little more pointy, but I like it a little more roundy. However you want. And if we were to commit, yes, we were to commit to that. Me. I'm going to go right up to here just to, so I don't have to get in there. If you can, once in a while you would do things where you would say, oh, it goes good here, and it turns here. And then you got the shoulder here, it means you got to do some digging. And if you can avoid the digging, and like I said, that beard is imperfect. You can have it any shape you want. Okay, by doing that, now I want to I want to keep since I'm making it flat. Therefore, I can use this material coming out more. Therefore, let's use a little bit of commit in here, just a little bit. Just a little bit more digging. A little more digging. How are you doing back there? Okay. Right. Then he's coming up with another one. <clears throat> We're on vacation. We do this a lot. If you uh, look at the old, if you're in the Chip Chats magazine and you see the old Chip Chats, what we do is, what we used to do, I think we sold out of it basically, is how many Santas we can do in a sitting when we sit and look at the beach and and this is this is in July, mid July. What are we doing, Santa's in mid July? Well, we all know how fast Christmas comes. In the old days, it used to be I carve whatever I want up until August, and when August comes, everything shuts down, and it is Santa's and snowmen and ornaments and I'm gonna to have to use the tip to get in there or I can use a, a chisel I should use a chisel maybe or I can clean that I can clean that up later I'm gonna leave as much as I can here like he's pulling it out <laughs> and so I'm okay with just doing some quick Santas that are very easy. Oops. I might try some experimentations or stuff while we're here, but for now, I think I'll use a chisel to shape this first. Like this. I like to use, sometimes I like to use the flat of the V as a flat tool. You can do that when, whenever you have to get and dig in there somewhere. And that's why I want, so I can do this instead of a knife, because I wanted to hold that. So while that is in or out, then this should come in. Here's where we're going to do some good some knife. Or I'll demonstrate, let's demonstrate how to do the chisel. And so like I'm, sometimes I get too lazy in putting down a tool. Might as well just get it started this way. Sometimes. But just to show you how you can use the flat. In this case, both flats of the V. I turn into V. Oops. 
see. Let's get to digging. Do I have any? Well, I'll do some. Let's do some chopping. I'm gonna do some chopping here with my big, big number eleven. Oh my goodness, what is this? Fifteen. I don't know if it's got written on there, but is it 11? Uh, the mill is... Oh, that's a good question. I didn't have been a ruler. Now you could use your number 11 to do this. And if you want to, just leave it alone like this. Kind of make it that clothing ripply look if you want. But I'm going to continue on with my, my knife here. That's a big, ooh, that was a big horse fly. Come in. They stink. Got the old deep woods off on. You probably took a look at me and said, I'm out of here. I don't think he might be back. And a lot of this I will um, leave to my detailing and cleaning. Because there's also going to be a lot of, when you have this coming out, there's going to be a bit of undercutting. And I, I, I'm, I'm just demonstrating a little bit right now. And that's not as far in as I'd want it. Because I want to make sure that I shape the outside and everything's fine. Everybody's happy. And this is going to be bent a little bit. Because he's grabbing a hold. Usually that's kind of, I'll get in there with my detail, really get in there. Get that nice three-dimensionality going. Let's do a clean here. And when I do some more detailing, you know, what I'll do is I'll put some of this in, but I might take the sharp and do a little bit of uh, undercutting in there too. Make it a little bow. I did clean it up. I should leave it as a bow. In here, you have to use the tip. But here, if I use as flat of the tip as I can, and I come back in with the flat like this, it might work. That'd be okay. Okay. Okay, I'll just do a little bit of the cleaning. Oops. Flat this way. Flat this way. So nice and clean. I might take a little bit. Of, I'm going to come back later and probably put better, better waves to it than just uh, what I got, what I had before with the U. With the, with the number 11 is that uh, number 11 was more too choppy more like you did that on purpose instead of really thinking it through that's the thing or you can leave it as a sort of a folk art uh, um, kind of a thing and then you can leave it but I'll just kind of clean this a little because I think I might want it to come out a little bit I don't want to flatten it too much there Okay, let's do this. Flat as much as we can. Nice and flat, but that's going to be later on. That's going to be undercut. I'm going to undercut that deeply. I think I might want to take a little bit more of this off. 
and it's gonna I'm gonna decide it more when I'm doing my detailing how much more I'm gonna cut this off I just want it smooth enough so it looks like he's walking okay we can do this and there, there, oh there's a, another speedboat we got a inner tube with two girls hanging on and Speedboat's doing everything it can to get the girls off. That's always fun. It's like football. You got an offense and a defense. Girls look pretty wiry and make a little bit of muscles there. I think they can hold on. Where others in the boat are hoping to shake them out, so it'd be their turn. Okay, so I'm kind of cleaning it. It's a little. Now, the other thing that I could do is I can leave this flat and uh, make a make a, some kind of an image in here. Leanne, yes. is that what you wanted to do? Was leave this flat and Im and you're going to paint something? Yes, I'm going to paint a scene with a loon. Oh, okay. In there. Okay, so then I won't. We won't put any dents in there. So we have a lake scene with the moon. Yep. Do our version and not too much. We don't want it to look too Jim Shore ish. We have our own little way of doing things that kind of make it ours. I'm going to clean this a little bit. Also using my smartphone to do this I have my daughter and my bow up here and they're swimming at the big beach um, our plan is to go to a place called Bimbo's Octagon it's been there since 1918 just had their hundred few years ago years ago oh they got the best pizza oh the best pizza. it's a little, little typical in the middle of the woods saloon I don't know how do you put it and you get your burgers and they got the sturgeon burger oh my word the sturgeon burger they got so many meats and patties and everything in there I always ask for an extra hard boiled egg on it oh I don't order uh, any chips or any fries or anything because that burger is enough. Anyways, those are the pizza, and they do have crustless pizza. That's what we do because it's carbs, low carbs, and that is super, super fantastic. And um, you can order a large pizza when it comes out and it sits in front of you. It's like, oh my goodness, shouldn't I be sharing this pizza? It's so huge. No, it isn't because the crust, of course, is, is the filling that fills you. And you'd be surprised. You just start in and it'll keep going. And before you know it, it's gone. People say, can I, can I have a piece? No. It's your own. Now, here I just noticed, I, I think I forgot. Did I forget this or did I leave that? Yeah, I got that one. Okay, I am going to take a swizzle here. Oops. My water baba. Ah, at the beach, summer day, warm summer day. Sometimes I, I do like that, listening to the boat or boats or at the beach where people are just having a good time. 
Sometimes. A lot of times I just want to have the just the sound of summer. Northwood summer. So yeah, Google McCarthy Beach McCarthy Beach State Park came around in 1947 from the CCC Camp 717 area and uh, last looked it had the best one of the best it was marked as in a scale of 1 to 100 or, or of the top 100 lake beaches it's number 17 and it's a soft very clean lake soft sandy bottom and you walk out as far as you can go and it never it hardly drops you can go out a whole long city block and it'll be up to your waist but you keep going there's some buoys it gets to a point where then it gets to about uh you know about chest level and then all of a sudden boom it's it drops and at night you see them walleye fishermen come out I'm putting this little bent in here I did already on this one so to kind of commemorate no that's not the right word all right the thing I'm not happy about it is I think I want more of this off I wonder if I got it here let's just use the my big number 11 again I want to get that out of there some out of there and I'll take the knife to it I'm just I'm just moving I'm just moving wood here I want to leave the tail a little bit like I said he's walking So there, I just took a good hunk of that out of there, just just in a few swipes. And I got uh, flatter tools, I just, I'd have to go get them out. I got all my tools in a box when I go camping. And I just didn't want to reach down and have to pull out something when another tool could be used. But during, in detail, Oh, excuse me, in detail. In detail, and I'll be cleaning this up a little more because I can't get in there. I can't get in there with that knife. I can hack some of that wood out of there, and then when I do my detailing, I'll clean it up. But I want to at least get to the point where I am happy with how this is going. And I want to get it where the head is. You can see where the head is. There we go. There we go. I still want to have the arms come back a little bit. Oops. Ooh, way off in the distance is a loon. No, that's not up. Either was a one-shot deal, or that's about as best as it I can hear. Okay, I mean, this is probably good. And, oh, no, wait, I want to get the arms. Sorry. Finish the arms and get the hands in, and then I want to get to the face. Because I think we're getting there on this one. Did I, yeah, I did. I'll at least try to clean it. And now sometimes I think I might. No. It's a debatable when I detail. Shall I put the the tufts in the um, fur lining in? Put the fur lining in. 
move down here, and I, I don't know, for, I, I, when you get the, I don't know, I'll think about that later. Sometimes I like to leave it blank, and just do things to it. And then sometimes I like to put that fur in there, because you want to break this, you know, this red, or whatever color we're going to have it. What color is this one going to be? To it's going to be red with a scene of the lake with a saloon. Okay, it's not blue with blue stars or... Nope. Okay. The other one is wearing a night shirt. Yeah, this one here is a and night shirt. A a I did start in on the, the head. I thought, well, let's get a video going here. There he's got a cup of coffee, he's walking, we'll get to this. He's got a book, he's going to sit down for the night. Maybe it's the good or bad. I am, uh, yeah. Okay. We'll get to him next. Right now this one here. <clears throat> now we can, uh, I don't know how we can, what we're going to do here to break it is I want to do something. I can either leave it, sometimes I'd have a, maybe like a square, sometimes I have like a square with a, like a scene in, like a, uh, if, if there was more room, I would have this square and then have this indent of a tree. For which one? For this one here, but it's too small. Which one? This one. With the coat? Yeah. Where I just put something, sometimes I put a heart in the back, sometimes... No, 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 we're going to paint a loon on the front. That will be sufficient. Okay. So, let's, let's get working on the hands a bit here. I want to watch what I'm going to do with that. With that thumb, he's the thumb is in. So maybe I didn't need to make this as as, as long as I wanted. I just wanted to do that for the sake of making sure I had extra material. Because for sure, down here I want to make the hand smaller than the width of the. There you go. We're gonna have a little bit of that coming down, and I wanted to come in a little bit. I guess I'll do that in the detailing more. Oops, 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 careful. I think your breeze is going away. I think it is. It's getting hot here. So, I'm just committing to this, and when it comes to detail, I'll, I'll work it. Same with on this side, just to commit to having it in. Might pack up pretty soon here. Go to another place. Oh, I screwed up. I goofed up. Let me see this. I think I'm gonna have to come in a little bit more because we need to have the iron, the hand around. Well, why didn't you tell me I was screwing up? Oops, where's my, there it is. So I'm going to bring this in just a little bit more so the hand, the hand will come out more. That's what we want. That's better. bug off, take the saw mark off, take that mark off, and again I worked a little more in the detail is that I want, let's get the thumb in there, the thumb is in there where the rest is curled up, I think I might, 
I'm not sure yet because it is not it's not a good grabbing hand. I should have had the sun come up more. No, it's underneath. Right here. So the sun is actually buried. Is it there? Or I might call a little bit of the uh, poetic license. Just say uh, it's for now. Let's, yeah. For now. And clean up later. Now, another thing that uh, we're. We have. I have no clock other than what's on my. Uh, my phone here. I'm pretty sure it's not ready to go. Probably my daughter's calling. Where are you? Didn't have a chance. I tried to call, but they're swimming, so the phone is off. Where did they go? I don't think they're kind of hungry for that pizza. This in the detail, I'll fix that. And like I said, I'll just commit to a thumb here. Everything underneath. Alright, I just want to get moving on, but before I do, Let's put the dents in. I put a dent here. Where the folds. Not the folds are the dent. What about the dent? Now we put in one here. Right. And then one here. One here. And then put the imperfection of the fabric. Yeah. That's another thing that I would do is looking around and if I see something worth taking a picture of, I'll put this on pause. Picture or video, doing my B-roll. I'm sure you've seen a lot of the B-roll, probably in this video you'll see a lot of B-roll. You know, pictures of deer and, not pictures, but videos of deer and plant life and this thing and this and that and other thing. Okay, now, like I said, put the little bend here. Okay, now I'll commit to the head. So we're going to, and I think I'm going to have to take a little bit of this up and maybe the, the, uh, yes, it does move. The hood. That's my hood. I'm just going to go in there. This can bend a little bit. Move with that bend. But clean this. Okay, now this is, um, I want to say, relatively new. I don't do the well, I, where I point out, I, I make it into a, uh, like a jack-o'-lantern. Uh, I learned this semi-technique from uh, Janet. Is it Janet? Uh, uh oh Janet. What was the name? What's her name that I did uh, the sand, that I carved the sandals from uh, CCC Janet Cordell? Or, because there's two of them. Which one was it? Do you remember? Okay. Oh boy, that's not cool. I think it is Janet Cordell. Yeah, she came and we did some Santas and stuff. 
So Santa's and snowman. I took that snowman and turned it into a Mrs. Santa. And I do something like this. No, not Janet Cordell. I don't know. Uh oh, Janet Cordell is one of the chips. Or one of the PC. Oh no, what's her name? Oh, am I in? Uh, uh, oh, it's at the tip of my brain. I'm gonna do something like this to get started. Then I would just do the scoop, just a scoop. This way it's gonna be a little more difficult. And with it, now it's a little bit like hers. I think it's more mine. And, well, she starts out like that, and I think. If she was watching, she'd say, I never taught that. And I'll come in a little later. And now I'm going to take the top of the head a little bit. A little bit about how I do it. And I think I'll come a little bit to the, to the hair. Just a little bit. Hair is imperfect, so I'm just... Take in the knife and then just put it in the down. Let's see, am I close like this? Am I out of view? As flat as you can. I'm going to take this. Because I'm going to do this. Yeah, I do this right away with my hold. My old way is to take that, take that out of there. But I still use my, uh-oh, do I have to get in there? Yes, I do. I have to get into my box. I still use my number nine, either number nine or number 11. Uh, when I go up the nose, the side of the nose, uh, maybe even something a little not as deep. When a carbon women, or sometimes it's very not so deep. I mean, here's what I'm going to use. But what I want to, in order to get for you to understand, I think I use this. Is it the two I use? For you to understand, or is it this one here? All right. So this is one of those do as I say and not as I do kind of a thing. Sometimes I take a really flat number nine. Where are you? Or not a flat number nine, this is number five, I'm sorry. And uh, you do something like this. Let's see how it would go. But, that's for the nose. Uh oh, we got some guy with a little putt but Oh, he's going on. And see, sometimes I do like that, see how, the, how wide that is. Or at least from here. But when we get to the eyes, that's when we're going to start digging deep. And I'm going to try the best I can to keep this wide nose, but I doubt it. I doubt it. So we go do that like I've done before, the upside down, number nine. I think the bigger the nose, the more you'll be able to keep it. Okay. But I want to try the best to keep it by going like this. Just getting this started, I'm going to get a thinner, a little smaller. You know, I'll probably even use the knife but right here. Whoops. Ooh, ooh, hoping it won't be too, too far. And. Do I have a thinner? No, I do not. I need some, oops, wrong knife. I'm gonna use the knife and do this little thing that I had said before and do a little chip. A little chip, oops. And that'll get it in there. We still got a little bit of the whiskey in those.
feels a little bit of this, but it looks like it's uneven. There, uneven a little bit. Now right now it's really hacky. Around it with the knife. He'll tell us. Yeah, we're in Beatrice's um, um, close to where, as far as off as we can from the boat launch. But I know he's coming. Oh, it is boat launch. Oh, he is. He's gonna from. He's got a nice little Evan Hood tractor on that. Oh, he's a bass boat guy. Oh, he's got poles and everything. Oh, okay. He just went by. Good man, I think. Hey, he's okay. I'm gonna widen the eyes a little bit. This is where you put get some three dimensionality in there. Some people are too got their their carvings that are just too flat. And yeah, I just want to do a little bit of rounding. Because I put, I put the visor on right now. I'm not saying I'm flying as a bat or anything, but that's a good more. And here's what I want to do. Since it looks like there's less space here, then I'm going I'm to see if we can commit to taking away some of this. this down a little bit. Let's see what that half was that I make it worse that one. Now I'm gonna get to a point. Oh I can I'm not really I'm gonna I gotta turn this. That's what's wrong right there. I'll turn this. I keep going while they gotta figure things out. Number nine, about, uh, about seven mil. What I always say. It's got one of those little four-wheeler, uh, what do you call it, uh, mud, mud machines, you know, we go into the, one of those four-wheelers, little four-wheeler things, and then got the trailer and the bass boat, and look, where the heck did it come from? You did not drive from the cities with that. You know, we go into the woods, and I remember in the old days when they first came out, it was a three-wheeler, and they always had the problems with it flipping over. My brother had one of those. Oh, my brother Robert got into everything. He's a, he's a marine and all that. And my brother Robert too, he's, he's not, but he always got into things. And they all had their three wheels and they went into the woods and turned back muddy and all and get out. No, the three wheelers disappeared. Now it's all four wheels. Because they weren't that safe. Did they flip over or something? There we go. Okay, boys got 
Well, he's got the boat, and he's going to come up with the four-wheeler here. And You know, the best part about this, if you're watching this and it's like winter time or early spring, that we can get back out of the other thing is the sounds of summer. <coughs> this boy is dutifully waiting for Pop to come back, going on the boat, and I'm sure he's got a lot of. Walleye and bass on his mind. He is gonna, he's gonna bring them in. I have one brother is uh, my, my brother in the Marine. He's uh, I call him his name is Ron. He's in the Marine. Uh, if you go searching out there on the internet, uh, Adventures with the Marines, and he does a lot of backpacking and hammocking and going up north. And we got one together about looking for the uh, great gray owl. There's where you see me, the big, I'm the big blob of the guy there. So check his videos out, the Adventures with the Marine. And, uh, I've circles have my few tools. Good thing that it's dirt down there. Getting back to carving and, and by the way, am I still in? Yeah, I am. I better just just a snap there. Is gonna, hey, let's uh, let's do a close up here. And you can make this, of course, in me which way you want. For heaven's sakes, it's open now. I'm gonna do. His instead of a nice, what do I call it? I do that happy beard. I'm just gonna since there's a lot of a happy mustache. I'm gonna do a lot of a lot of mustache here. I wonder if I look at my camera, do I see the the time? Probably, it's probably there, and I don't see it. Oh, there they go. Now again, if this is winter time for you, or, or worse, springtime, and you can't, early, early spring, and you can't wait for that snow to get off, or the ice to get off, watch my uh, fly fishing video, how to, how to carve a fly fisher. And my brother and I, I'm doing the carving, and he's behind me, he's doing fly fishing, and it's, uh, in uh what is it early january no about mid-february and the thing i like about fly fishing in february is that the brooks and the streams are open as far as you know the water because it does not ice and the shore might ice a little bit or whatever here and there but as far as where it flows it does not ice and you're actually fishing in the water not on the ice I got a kick out of that. It's, it's, it's a good break from solid ice and winter and, and uh, especially after when Santa Claus himself has come and gone for the year. A way to get out there. No matter where you are, I think there's, there's a stream nearby with a trout with your name on it. It is a little expensive to get into, the, the pole a little bit, but if you do the fly fishing, it's like an art when you fly. Some people like the dunk bobbers. We, you know. Like I said, my brother's a Marine. You, know, you don't do stuff like that. And it is, it is like hunting. You hunt for the fish, you just don't dip it and then hopefully some sunfish come by and you have to know which rock and you gotta land that fly just right. And you only got a couple of seconds and you gotta you gotta 
dress the line, bring the line in, and, and then you didn't catch any, and you gotta bring it out. That's why when they fly, it, it whips, they whip it the one or two times as they get that line back out again, and, and then it stops. And drop. Fishing in the winter. Now my brother, my other brother, Robert, he does subscribe to the, um, and his son, uh, Ryan, he's a good Marine. Uh, he, uh, they do a lot of the spearing. And a lot of people don't like that because uh, you spear and then you hit them and then they get away. What happens? They die. Especially when you spear it, means you got a good fish. And so a good fish will die because of the spear. And that's not catch and release, that's for sure. Okay, I see Lynn is standing up. I wonder if that means something. Are you just stretching or are we... Are you almost done there? Yeah, this one is almost done. This one is relatively right, done. Finish up, let's go. Oh, there it is. Well, the breeze is gone. That's true. And the flies are getting bad. Okay, here we go. Let me just do a little bit of... Few more cuts because yeah the next time will be more of the detail and like i said we use we when we carve a bunch when we're camping is sometimes we do a little cheat and not sometimes i'd put some of the beard in but no cheat and show look at the hun, look at the, about the 15 or whatever 20 25 carvings we've done and look up at the old chip chat magazines because i used to do that Probably still, what I'm talking about, still do. Of course, not during COVID. We are just on, I want to say, relatively other side of COVID, but there's another variety coming out. Okay, this is, uh, I'll finish here. The rest is detail. Um, the rest is putting in the eyeball, or you can paint in the eyeball. You can do whatever you want with the beard. Some people like to just put the uh, number nine dent in there. And, and you can also paint it any which way you want. But with that, I can hear she's kind of panting there like she wants it. Like, we got to get going here. Okay, I'm going to do just another scoop of this so, so we can say there's the, um, there's the feet. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. This is pretty done in its rough roughed out form. Yeah, that's about as far as I want to go as far as roughed out roughing out. So that's a good place to stop. I brush the crumbs off my just my lovely knees there, and okay, give you a little uh, at this point. I think I'm gonna stop. Well, we'll stop the video, but um, when you see the, the pattern on this, then you can see the extra details. And so we're kind of done as far as continuing on on the video. But until the next, we got this Santa coming up. And he's going to tell us where to go, where it is a little cooler and less buggy. But until then, hasta la vista. Again, look down below. I have my... A uh, collection of stew by, stew by knives and chisel under the under Russell Scott. As long as they don't fall down, but at least it's in the in the dirt. And hit the subscribe button. And hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Subscribe. Uh, if you haven't got any of my free, oops, free um, uh, patents, there's a lot of free patents out there. When you subscribe, you will see uh, more links to free patterns, free patterns when you subscribe. But then there's also, when you look down below, uh, when you do subscribe, there's some free patterns there too. So, let's fit it this way. <laughs> Till the next. Happy fishing. Just make sure you got a lot of bug spray on. Well, 
I'm home right now. Um, I finished this up. And <clears throat> the reason why <clears throat> I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about this before, maybe more like an explanation. Now, normally, or not normally, but a lot of times, I would, and you probably would take your chisel, your round chisel, and uh, or, or uh, V, whatever it is you use, and you would uh, put some dents in there. You know, because it's cloth, and cloth is, does not really flow that much. But the reason why I'm leaving it like this is because uh, Lynn is going to put on <clears throat> a seam, and I didn't want to put too many ripples in there. And too many ripples would just uh, kind of distort the picture. You know, even though I don't want this to be too... Um, i got to clean this, too, when this is done. It's got to get washed. I don't want it to be too Jim Shore-ish, but uh, that's the reason why I just turned this video on to, to show you. Uh, here's the details. I got a new light here, so I'm trying to figure this all out. That too. But anyways, there it is. It's done. On to the paint table. Thank you.